headed into the hospital today because the little man decided to be breached just like my other two kids. So this is going to be my fourth external version. version. So hopefully not this having be a baby today. Yeah, we have our hospital bag just in case. And <laughs> I didn't know what to put in it. I'm like, what do I even put in this bag? But um, this just seems a little bit crazy. I'm not that excited about going into the hospital right now because all this coronavirus stuff. So I'm just gonna be like walking in. And then we can take you up there if you don't know where you're going. I can, okay. I can get you up there. Hi, I'm here for an external version. through the hallways and I was like smiling at people you know but <laughs> look I'm smiling you can't tell see you have to like smile with your eyes because you just can't see look smile this is so crazy so I went in for my doctor's appointment I feel like someone's in our bathroom <laughs> I hope it's not a shared bathroom uh, we have to leave these on we have to put these on when healthcare providers come in but if they're not in we can take them off um, but I went to my doctor's appointment today and I have this huge mouth right here. It's like coming out like crazy. Turns out that's his noggin. So this will be my fourth <laughs> external version. AKA my... flip. Yeah. So they're going to flip him and fingers crossed it goes okay because Raiden, if they do not, if it doesn't go okay, we will have a baby because we'll have to get a C-section. I called Brandon after my doctor's appointment and I was like, Kay, they want me to go in and get flipped. I'm just going to go do it. And he's like, no, I want to be there. So we have our kids being watched somewhere. And I'm very, very good. That would be terrible. You look really cute. Thanks. <laughs> to my right, we have a demonstration here. I just noticed like a Ooh. cervical dilation. You start here and you progress. Right now I'm a one. The top left <laughs> corner. I am the new Vanna White. But like... That's big. <laughs> now you know I'm the first time I was like, oh. <laughs> my head would not fit. Oh my god. Right, you warming, that's your progress. One centimeter. <laughs> like a basketball. But also that's not that big. No. For as big as they're telling me his head is, that's not that big. We were just sitting here and I'm like, Brian, this is like a date. <laughs> yeah, a corona date. A corona date. This is what dates are when you have three kids. Say we have unruly kids. <laughs> they're better once they come out. Uh, not really. <laughs> she is going to give you this medicine, this terbutaline, and basically it relaxes the muscles, smooth muscles, which are muscles and organs. Um, we'll give you about 15 minutes. And then when we actually do this, I'm going to turn the bed upside down. So it's probably different than you had before, but these are tricks that I've learned. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, so that the baby kind of is wedged like its feet are in, into the pelvis, like it's really hard to turn. Yeah. If we use gravity to help pull it out of the like pelvis, it. then it seems not to be. Okay. That's not anything they taught me in a book. It's You're the expert right here. Yeah, I'm glad um, whatever you got to do. And so that's helped, I think, be really successful. And we're basically, we'll hopefully just do it in one, if, or we'll have to do, sometimes we try a forward roll and then try a backward roll, whichever seems to go. Okay, we're going to. They should hold on tight. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. For some reason, I'm really nervous this time. Do you want to give me your hand? Just a little bit of a feel. I want this on before we go. We're also lucky because your placenta is mostly behind. Oh. Because okay. if it's on the front, that's another issue. My focus is not breathing. on lifting the head up, yeah. but just lifting the bottom up. Good. Good and job. then helping He's moving. coaxing the baby to kind of turn. Doing Good great. Job. He's moving. Awesome. He's moving. <sighs> Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Keep going. 
Okay, you're doing great. Big deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth. Nice. That's right here. Good job. Good. Good. Now the key is to get the feet up and out. Because sometimes the head, but there's still a foot down here that doesn't let the head drop. It'll be a lot easier once we've reached her head. So you're just kind of driving the head, just keep it down. And, <laughs> okay, stop. Oh, that's fine. No. Well, you made it darn easy. <laughs> well, and you weren't just, you've done this enough, you're not scared to death of it. Yeah. Some people are really scared, and so they're really tense, and that makes it hard to. So, there's the big eye. Can you see? That's in the back. This is the heart okay. beating. Good. Very normal, regular rate. No head is way down here. Yay. Yay, awesome. Okay, so that was crazy, you guys. I was flipped upside down and then the baby got flipped upside down. Could you see? Yes, you could literally watch him turning him. Really? And I like the upside down thing. The other times we didn't do that. I think it was good because gravity helped. Yeah, it was, it was good. I was explaining to Brayden, like, it's all like in your mind. It's like someone pinching your arm and you just have to like breathe because <laughs> you want to like tighten your core muscles if you want to know how it feels just get like a 10 pound bowling ball and like roll it around on your stomach <laughs> and that's about what it feels like <laughs> it's really grateful that our friends were able to watch our kids and hopefully our kids are being good but also if this is something that you're about to go through like it's not that bad Everyone talks about how hard and scary and painful it is, but honestly, I guess everyone's experience is different, but You've done it four times. This is my fourth time. You're four for four. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you it's not that bad. It's really not. You just have to breathe through it. The alternate is a C-section. Yeah, the alternate is a C-section. I wouldn't much rather go through this. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe because we're gonna we're having a baby. We're having a baby. Like this is things. real. I also wanted to tell you guys, we will be announcing the name of this little guy over on my Instagram first, just because it's easier over there and like faster. So if you guys want to be the first ones to know what his name is, be sure to go follow me on Instagram. And yeah, do you have anything else to say, Brayden? See you over there. See ya.